Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This is for October 15th to October 31st, 2020. This is a general love reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay Scorpio, we're going to go ahead and pick a card from this Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle deck. And let's see what's going on with you in love. I'll give it one last shuffle. And we have for you, Scorpio, find balance. It says, find balance. And we also have for you, well-deserved reward. Well-deserved reward. Okay, Scorpio, so for you it definitely seems like um, this feels a very positive energy here. Um, With the card of balance, um, this might be a card of advice and guidance, um, you know, asking you to, um, you know, try to organize your life better or manage your life better in a way that is more healthy for you and that is more um, peaceful for you. And with the well-deserved reward, it does seem like... Um, there's going to be um, a good opportunity for you, Scorpio, to, um, to find um, some happiness and some, um, I feel like, some freedom, I want to say. Because this person here looks like they're on the, t on the top of this tower and they're like on top of the world. And they look like they're free and they're happy with them with their own selves so it does feel like you're gonna be um feeling at your best in in this particular time period of um the middle of october to the end of october so that's what i see there i'm gonna go ahead and pick a card from the power animal power animal oracle card deck these are different animal messages. Let's see what message comes out for you. I'm going to go ahead and just spread the cards out and pick one randomly from the middle. Let's go with this one. And we have here the lynx. It says discernment. Look beyond immediate appearances discernment look beyond immediate appearances so again Scorpio this can be a card of advice here um, and also maybe a warning um, there might be people that are pretending around you or maybe not being honest with you um, and this card is saying to practice discernment to not immediately believe what what someone is telling you or what someone is showing you but to be more observant and to be more critical in your thinking and your evaluations of people and yeah just to watch out for people that are um, that are being deceiving or that are lying to you um, if you feel like something doesn't feel right like something is suspicious then um, it's probably true. So, yeah, this is a card of, like I said, advice and warning. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick out some cards from the regular tarot deck. And let's see what's going on with you in love with some more detail.
This is for Scorpio, October 15 to October 31st, 2020. Cut the deck. In terms of your energy, Scorpio, we have here the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands um, can represent um, receiving a lot of opposition from people. There might be people that are trying to bring you down, trying to attack you. Um, so this might be why also the discernment card was here. So. You might be surrounded by people that um that are trying to take advantage of you or trying to um attack you in some way. So it's something to be careful about. Um we also have here the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is a very powerful woman. She's very um independent and she's very fiery she has a very strong character there's a dragon here behind her in this card um, so she's very fierce and very um, intimidating to many people um, so she might be the one who's attacking you here with the seven of wands or um, she might be the one who can potentially um, cause some sort of negative situation in your life. Um, but I feel like you're going to stand your ground, Scorpio. I feel like you're not going to let yourself um, be attacked or be abused. And I feel like you're going to um, defend yourself. Yeah, I think you're going to defend yourself really well and with the Queen of Wands energy, this can also represent you being confident and being brave and being um, in control. So that's what I see here. Now in terms of whoever you're dealing with in love, I want to give it another shuffle here. We have the card of the Wheel of Fortune. And we have here the Knight of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Cups. So the Wheel of Fortune is a card of good luck. It's a card of fortune. It's a card of um, wealth and abundance. And the Knight of Cups is a person who is um, coming to offer you some sort of um, affection, love, um, romance, or just someone who's, um, who's really um, fond of you, who really likes you, and who wants to um, express their, their fondness of you. Or express their love for you so this is different for everyone but um, for many of you this can be someone who has a crush on you who is interested in you um, or like I said who just really likes you and with the Wheel of Fortune I feel like this is something that you're not going to expect that's gonna be very surprising for you and they're just gonna come out of the blue um, just randomly pop up out of nowhere and it's gonna be a really pleasant surprise for you so I think maybe that's why you have here the well-deserved reward um, I feel like this is something that you needed that's something that's gonna lift lift your spirits and make you happy so yeah it's something that I feel like you can look forward to Scorpio um, while some well, well, over here you're receiving a lot of attacks and opposition and enemies. Um, on the other side you have also someone here who 
um, cares for you or who is interested in you and wants to offer something pleasant and nice to you. So that's what I see, Scorpio. Um, I hope this was helpful and useful for somebody out there. Um, if it was, please subscribe to my channel. I, I'd appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Scorpio.